There was an Ocean's Eleven style robbery in Las Vegas last night, depending on who you talk to. Sure, we know Duke beat Utah. Coach K reached his 14th Elite Eight. Most among after coaches, blah, blah, blah. Let's talk about how this game gave Vegas a serious case of the meat sweats. That's because millions of dollars were decided on a seemingly meaningless play. Let's take a look at what happened. Coach K and Duke closing as a five point favorite against the youths. 10 seconds left, Blue Devils up five. Jordan Leverage misses the three. Quinn Cook gets the board. You see the youths looking to foul him. And they eventually do with 0.7 seconds left on the clock. However, at this time, Coach K already shaking hands. Utah players leaving the court. Seems like all is done, right? Ha ha ha. The ref comes to the table to explain a foul was called with 0.7 left. Coach, uh, the other Coach K, Larry Kriskoviak, doesn't understand. Players all come back from the locker room. Quinn Cook nails the free throw. Duke goes on to win 63-57 and covers the spread. For more, we welcome in pregame.com odds maker RJ Bell from Las Vegas. Now, RJ, this Duke game left Vegas feeling some kind of way. Uh, first of all, what was the atmosphere like in the sports books when that went down? Well, think about it. It's Friday night, it's Vegas, the drinks are flown in the sports books. And 75% of the audience in the crowd had tickets on Duke. So at that point, they're figuring, oh, we're going to push. We're not going to win anything. And then with less than a second left, a foul, all it takes is one free throw. Everyone is zeroed in. First one misses. There's a groan from the crowd. Second one, all the money on the line, makes it. Crowd goes wild. Longtime bookmaker Jimmy Vaccaro here in town told me, that the reaction, the emotion off that free throw was equal to the ending of the Super Bowl this year, only in Vegas, though. So much drama in the Las Vegas action. All right, how much money was riding on Quinn Cook's free throws? Yeah, so if you think about it, let's start just in Nevada alone, where it's regulated and legal here in Nevada, is if the game would have ended five, it would have been a push. So everyone gets their money back. Instead, the Duke betters, which were 75%, won, we estimate about $5 million extra dollars in the pockets of Nevada betters alone because of that one free throw. Now you start thinking, all right, what about globally? By conservative estimates, 20 times as much is bet on college basketball globally than just in Nevada. So now we're up to $100 million in the betters pockets. Then there's one other factor. Because the recreational bettors for March Madness love to bet parlays, two and three and four teamers, and the other favorites won Friday night. Duke was the fourth favorite to win. That was even more of an impact, negative for the sports books, positive for the bettors. In fact, the MGM says just on the parlay exposure alone, $1 million swing just for the MGM. Vegas feeling a little bruised and battered right there. How often does something like this happen, like a bad loss for Las Vegas? Well, think about it. On every side, there's two sides of every bet. So for every bad beat, there's a miracle win. There's really four elements to make a really big kind of bad beat or miracle win. One, you need to have lopsided action. One team bet much more than the other. You had that in this case, Duke 75%. Now you also need second, a big game, a game that a lot of people are betting on. You had that in this case. It was Friday night, March Madness, the whole thing. Thirdly, you need an unexpected result at the end, something you just wouldn't expect. And we had that, a foul call with less than a second left, and the game really wasn't going to be decided. And then there was the fourth element, which is when that last element is really unrelated to the game. The only people that cared about this free throw was the batters, and man, they cared. It was uniquely a Las Vegas event. Inevitably on Twitter, some people are going to call foul, pardon the pun, on a situation like this. What do you make of those types of claims? Well, listen, when you've got money on games and you lose, you're going to have an emotional response. I will say in this case, it really makes zero sense of any conspiracy because the sports books, you know, big companies, they lost. And actually, the biggest bettors were on Utah. So the biggest professional bettors lost. The only winners in this case were the $20 recreational bettors, the guys just doing it for fun, and they won a lot of money because of that last free throw. A lot of excitement right there. Pregame.com odds maker RJ Bell from Las Vegas. Thanks so much, RJ.
Thank you.